Plaintiff Deborah Borelli says her daughter has been dating the defendant for over eight years, and he's been physically abusing her the entire time. Deborah's suing her daughter's boyfriend for the balance due on a loan, interest, and emotional distress. Defendant Neil Dunbar and his girlfriend Alyssa Borelli admit that when Alyssa was pregnant, Neil overdosed on lace cocaine. But Alyssa insists Neil has never laid a finger on her. Neil's countersuing for slander. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Neil and my daughter Alyssa have been dating for about eight or nine years. And um, during that time, she's put me in the position to um, break up fights or uh, come re rescue her when he would be throwing glass at her. He was physically, emotionally, and verbally abusive. All along or All later along. years? Or? All along. She moved out of an apartment just to get away from him so he couldn't find her for a few months. Then she got a crush on another boy and he didn't feel that way about her. So I, she, she went back to Neil out of I, I believe at the time, convenience, she'd gained some weight. I think she's beautiful, but um, it was hard for me to watch her be um, mistreated and, and walked on and paid all the bills when he didn't work and took care of his daughter when he would be drunk in bed. This went on for years, Your Honor. And, um, but it was He's her He's laughing, so obviously he wasn't beating your daughter, because I'm sure he wouldn't laugh after he physically assaulted her. Ma'am, he's obviously never no. hit you, never put his he's hands on you. He's never put me. his hands on okay. me. There was one time where a picture frame was thrown. It just fell. Um, <laughs> no, it, no, it, 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 it fell. It fell. Didn't hit me. Um, there was one time where I think it was a family party, or he went out, where he did fall asleep, and I was there for his daughter, but it wasn't a continuous thing. OK. And um, she denies that those things happen. I know, this right. is the problem. She loves him, and I know that. Do you have any evidence well, of this physical abuse, ma'am? Um, police report, were the police ever called the in eight years? The police were called, but it was so many years ago uh, when she was moving out of an apartment to get away from him. She had kicked him out, and he, I guess, Why? um, the, he was- Because we were both on a lease, and we were moving out, and he refused to move out, so that's why they were called, and okay. nothing was done because he was on a lease. All right. You want to tell me anything about your, um, uh, what your mom is saying, and your relationship with her, and your relationship with your boyfriend? Okay. Me and Neil um, have had some rough patches with which pretty much every relationship goes through. Does. Um, the last year that we haven't spoken, our relationship has been stronger than ever. <laughs> That's not how you say you haven't spoken. No, no. I'm sorry. We haven't spoken to her. Yes. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I haven't spoken my mother. to her. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's that work? Ever. Okay. That's how we're going through it. All um, right. I was about eight months pregnant, and there was a falling out between me and my mother. Um, during that time, pretty much through my whole pregnancy, I had cancer, um, which she didn't make my situation any easier. Um, Are you cancer free? Yes, no. Good. Go ahead. So if anything, with the emotional distress, it should be the other way around. Okay. Um, we have not had contact with her in over a year. Does she get along with your boyfriend? If not, why? Doesn't sound this like she's away. gotten along with him. Has she's it been this way really... for all eight years? Pretty much. We, yeah. I mean, they, they, there was a time when we were at a bar and his mother and his family came out and they're, you know, they're kind of loud. So we were all out, um, you know, having a few drinks together and she just doesn't like his family um, just pretty much saying they're trash. <laughs> they're the ratchet. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> what did you say? So. Sir, what do you want to tell me about your relationship with the plaintiff and your girlfriend? Me and her, like she said, has been strong for the last year since we stopped talking to her. But, um, you know, eight years ago, ever since, like, like you said, day one, it's been nothing but problems between me and her. Why? She brought us to uh, family court to see the baby for visitation for our one year old rights. daughter. Our one year old daughter. And um, why did you all refuse uh, to allow her to visit? Because of the fight that they had? There was an incident that happened when I was eight months pregnant, um, which I don't know. I had an overdose when I was eight months. Well, when she was eight months pregnant. 
Um, and uh, she didn't like the fact that she forgave me what happened. It was an accident. Everything's all cleared up between Overdose her and Overdose of what? And she didn't like- Overdose of what? Cocaine. It was cocaine, it was but it was- Lace uh, fentanyl, lace fentanyl, fentanyl heroin. mix. Come to cocaine, find out. Cocaine, fentanyl, and heroin? Yeah. No, there was no heroin. It must have been- It was fentanyl. fentanyl it was man. laced with fentanyl that he did one line of. How uh, you know? I, well, she's going off from what I said. The doctors. The doctor said that? The, that's what the doctor said, that there was, was in only, his system. Yeah. They didn't say how he did it. Yeah. They don't know either. Only the people who were there know how that's he true. did it. From what that he told true. me. Uh, and you um, think a drug addict. Was he a drug addict? No, no I he wasn't. was not an avid day drug user. I, was, I have um, proof that his mother had texted me when I said, how is Neil? Well, that's and she said, you they are admitting him. A drug he stopped breathing you. and they're giving him a Narcon drip. That was after several shots at the scene that in was... front of her house that they had been giving him Narcon. Well, yeah, that everybody who gets hit with that stuff, they do use multiple. I've also been in their they apartment numerous times. I'm sorry, what was that? You've been into our apartment and what? Numerous times where I have found pipes Weed plants growing. You even admitted that you pipe? knew he did crack. What type of or pipe? I have never. Pardon me. What type of pipe? Well, I don't know the difference it between a, a weed marijuana. pipe and a crack pipe, marijuana. but it's a pipe. Okay, no it marijuana. A pipe. It was a, a, a mask that you put on. That's marijuana. You can't smoke you... cocaine like that, no. Doc. No. <laughs> right. No. Your heart will bust for the first hit. <laughs> you got a giant bowl. <laughs> No, ma'am, that was weed. Oh, I don't know. That was, was marijuana. Was marijuana. Yes, <laughs> yes ma'am. What else did you when break When he was good to my daughter, I really tried to love him. Matter of fact, they invited me to their baby sonogram, and I found out it was the granddaughter I always wanted. Um, that you also said you wouldn't be surprised if she was found dead underneath a pillow because we because were Because you work, yeah, you we work afternoons, yeah. he works midnights. Okay. So if he's you, doing, a, a if he's doing drugs, so listen, you're leaving him home 10 hours a day okay. with a brand new baby that wasn't even supposed to be born because of your cancer. I'm not supposed to be concerned about you. You're my little girl. That's if my I grandbaby. Issues, you didn't say that, that you she was your little girl was when you were sitting there bashing I have with you bashing that me. drug use. Drug that's use. it. Do you know of him using drugs beyond that incident? Well, like I was saying, when she came home from work one day, she called me on the phone and she says, Mom, you gotta come over here. Neil's out of his mind. I think he's on coke again. And I said, what do you mean? I don't know anything about drugs. Okay, well, she some, said he's rearranging some folks can furniture. Sniff coke periodically and not become full blown coke heads, but you don't smoke crack periodically. You no. become a crackhead. I don't know. Yeah. Something and about a rock. You do too much weed every day, you're a weed head. If you sniff too much coke regularly, you a coke head. So which one are you? <laughs> Neither anymore. He used to, he he used not doing it anymore, he said, anymore. Tell me about why you're suing for a loan. Okay, so, you know, he says that we never got along, but for all these years that I've known him, he'd never had a driver's license. She told me he had it revoked in Rochester. He had a DUI or two, one. DWI. So her father had, had leased her a car. My ex-husband had leased her a brand new vehicle um, and had the insurance in his name with her as a driver. So he was driving the vehicle around every day. So I told my daughter, why, why does he go to Cancun, go to Las Vegas when he should spend his income tax and getting his license Let's get back. the loan, ma'am. How That's does what he I'm getting owe? To. And she said- When was he to repay? Go ahead. Okay, so um, we had discussed that I would lend him the $1,500 mm -hmm. to get his license back. So mm -hmm. I went to the DMV with him. We went to one DMV and when I- When was he to repay? Um, there was no March repay of 2017. And how did you get to 2,300? Well, um, well, part of it is for emotional distress. Right, How much but there was, was there was months he paid nothing. So I guess just interest and, and guess. late fees and a DMV yeah, no, report that I had said to get. Yeah, do more than guess. Fees. Was there interest no, agreed like to? Yes. Yeah. No, there what wasn't. What was the interest no, was... agreed to, man? There's no... It just was supposed to be paid by uh, $50 okay, that, that's... a week. It was supposed to be $50 interest. a week. Oh, and then man. it wasn't paid at all. Okay. So she agreed What's to... What's the emotional distress for? Uh, just because of the fact that because of this overdose and this, they refused to pay me. Um, 
we, we had, my daughter and I had a falling out, and my entire family is now allowed to see this grandbaby, not my son. Anybody's allowed to, his, besides you. His uh, uncle, not, no, not, a, not the grandson. Well, maybe if you didn't that. say the stuff you said on social media but about I, my family and myself. why did you myself? lie about cough syrup and, and prescription pain pills, which we know he gets from Cough syrup? You did not tell anyone online. Cough syrup? Because you're embarrassed. Because I don't. You slandered our name. All you tried time. to get him fired, fired from his from job. No, I don't know what you're talking with about. With a newborn baby. I was eight months Your pregnant, and you should have seen yet. the stuff you were writing on social media. It was about, horrible. About drug everything abuse? That you wrote no, on it social was media is what my me. job hurt. About this? You said I'm, eight okay. people died from the exact same thing he was on that weekend? It was a bad dose? You're and right. Then we, and then we also yeah, went to court we for that. visitation. I and the lawyer, it. all our lawyer wanted from you was an apology. You and got you your put apology. on social media. You got, yeah, you got our apology saying on social media, I'm sorry I ever laid eyes on eyes you. Eyes on you, which is her. Which is about you, me. You got your apology and you still wouldn't accept it. And you took your the apology was thing a, away from our entire family. Your your Facebook girl. status Over was, here's your apology. Overhead. I'm sorry I ever laid Not eyes on you. You were my court. daughter. I was with you through that pregnancy. I was your health. I'm your proxy, daughter? Okay, and I never you, have a problem with You shouldn't with have said shower. any of the things that you said about me. And Ma'am, you shouldn't have Ma'am, my did daughter. you go on the internet while she was eight months pregnant criticizing her? It was not her. A bunch of times. No, yes, it was. It was. She said not you. So Our whole family well. was screenshotting it to me. Not you. Yeah. Who? Not you. you were bringing you. up my father. Yeah. <laughs> you. you were bringing I'm up my father. Sure. Okay. Pretty sure not her. Me. You were bringing up my Same physical Same thing, appearance. ma'am. You're talking about her family. Yes. All right. So let's move on, ma'am. Uh, the emotional distress is because you can't see the grandchild? Well, it's just to cause a problem in our whole family over okay, there. Okay, well, there's no legal claim that being able to visit with their grandchild. All right, now the counterclaim for slander. That's what that sounds like I've been yes. hearing, that she went on the internet regarding yes. your, you all's the issues. The internet, she would drive Let's past see some the evidence. house that we just moved into. Let me see the evidence of slander that you have. Oh, I don't There's know. There's no evidence that we Unfor- have. Sorry. All right, well, if you haven't brought anything, any evidence of that, and she's not agreeing that she did it, I can't grant you a claim okay. for slander. Uh, with regard to the loan, ma'am, $775 is all you're getting. That's how much the balance is. $775 is your judgment. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Yours dismissed. Alyssa. You got your money, now leave us alone. Yeah. I haven't been bothering you. Leave I can drive by, by that house. Why would you move around the corner from me? Because that's what was available nice and it's convenient. And it's, I can't, I can't drive okay, this. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Have fun with them. You have fun with them.